From our morning coffee to a cup of tea in the afternoon, caffeine is a part of many of our daily routines. We enjoy its stimulating effects, but have you ever wondered about its impact on our health? Can this popular stimulant do more than just wake us up? New research suggests it might play a role in weight management and even help prevent type 2 diabetes. Researchers from prestigious institutions, including the Karolinska Institute, University of Bristol, and Imperial College London, recently conducted a large-scale study exploring the relationship between caffeine and our health. Published in a leading scientific journal, the study has generated a lot of buzz in the medical community. What makes this study so unique? It delves deep into our genes to understand how caffeine levels in our blood might influence our risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases. To understand the true impact of caffeine, researchers turned to a clever technique called Mendelian randomization. This innovative approach allows scientists to delve deeper into the intricate relationships between our genes and various health outcomes. This method uses genetic information to understand cause and effect relationships in a way that traditional studies cannot. Traditional observational studies often struggle with confounding factors, making it difficult to establish clear causal links. Mendelian randomization, however, leverages the power of genetics to overcome these limitations. Think of it like this. Our genes are like a natural experiment. Each of us inherits a unique combination of genetic variants from our parents, and these variants are distributed randomly. This randomness mimics the design of a randomized controlled trial, which is considered the gold standard in research for determining causality. They are assigned randomly at birth, much like a randomized controlled trial, considered the gold standard in research. By comparing groups of people with different genetic variants, researchers can isolate the effects of specific genes on health outcomes, minimizing the influence of confounding variables. By studying variations in genes related to caffeine metabolism, scientists can gain a clearer picture of how caffeine affects our health. For instance, certain genetic variants can influence how quickly our bodies process caffeine, which in turn can impact our risk for conditions like heart disease or diabetes. This approach provides valuable insights that can inform public health recommendations and individual lifestyle choices. Mendelian randomization has revolutionized the field of genetic epidemiology, offering a powerful tool to untangle the complex web of genetic and environmental factors that influence our health. As researchers continue to refine this technique, we can expect even more groundbreaking discoveries that will enhance our understanding of human biology and improve health outcomes for future generations. The study focused on two specific genes, CYP1A2 and AHR. These genes play a crucial role in how our bodies process caffeine. Variations in these genes can influence the speed at which we metabolize caffeine and the levels that circulate in our bloodstream. By analyzing these genetic variations in a large population, Researchers could see how differences in caffeine levels, influenced by our genes, were linked to health outcomes like body weight and diabetes risk. The results of the study were quite remarkable. Individuals with genetic variations linked to higher caffeine levels tended to have a lower body mass index, or BMI. This suggests that higher caffeine levels might be associated with a lower risk of obesity. But the findings didn't stop there. The study also found that these same individuals had lower body fat percentages overall. This suggests that caffeine might not just impact weight, but also body composition, favoring lean mass over fat mass. The study also revealed a fascinating link between caffeine and type 2 diabetes. Researchers have been delving into the potential health benefits of caffeine for years, and this new finding adds an intriguing layer to our understanding. Individuals with genetically higher caffeine levels showed a reduced risk of developing this metabolic disorder. This suggests that caffeine might influence the body's metabolism in a way that helps prevent the onset of diabetes. This finding is particularly significant given the global rise of type 2 diabetes. With millions of people affected worldwide, discovering potential protective factors is crucial. The implications of this research could be far-reaching 
offering new avenues for prevention and management of the disease. While more research is needed to fully understand this relationship, the findings suggest that caffeine might play a protective role against this serious health condition. Scientists are now looking into the specific mechanisms by which caffeine could exert this protective effect. This potential link between caffeine consumption and a lower risk of diabetes is an exciting area for further exploration. Future studies will likely focus on how different levels of caffeine intake affect diabetes risk, and whether other factors such as diet and lifestyle play a role. The hope is that this research will lead to new strategies for preventing and managing type 2 diabetes, potentially improving the lives of millions of people around the world. Caffeine and Heart Health Separating Fact from Fiction There has been some concern about caffeine's impact on heart health. However, this study found no significant association between caffeine levels and the risk of cardiovascular diseases. This is reassuring news for coffee lovers who may have been concerned about potential risks. It highlights the importance of relying on robust scientific evidence rather than hearsay or anecdotal evidence. How Caffeine Works Its Magic, Thermogenesis, and Fat Oxidation But how might caffeine be contributing to these potential health benefits? Let's delve deeper into the science behind it. Scientists believe that caffeine's effects on thermogenesis and fat oxidation might hold the key. These processes are crucial in understanding how our bodies manage weight and energy. Thermogenesis refers to the body's ability to generate heat. This heat production is a natural part of our metabolism helping us maintain body temperature and burn calories. Caffeine appears to boost thermogenesis, meaning our bodies burn more calories even at rest. This increase in calorie burning can be particularly beneficial for weight management and overall metabolic health. Additionally, caffeine seems to enhance fat oxidation, the process by which our bodies break down fat for energy. Fat oxidation is essential for reducing stored fat and improving energy levels. This could explain the observed link between higher caffeine levels and lower body fat percentages. Studies have shown that individuals who consume caffeine regularly tend to have lower body fat and better metabolic rates. The biochemical mechanisms behind this involve caffeine stimulating the central nervous system, which in turn increases the release of certain hormones like adrenaline. These hormones can enhance the breakdown of fat cells. Moreover, caffeine can improve physical performance by mobilizing fatty acids from the fat tissues, making them available for use as energy. This is why many athletes and fitness enthusiasts include caffeine in their diet. It's important to note that while caffeine can aid in weight management and fat oxidation, it should be consumed in moderation. Excessive intake can lead to negative side effects, such as jitteriness, insomnia, and increased heart rate. Consulting with a healthcare professional can help determine the right amount of caffeine for individual health needs. Balancing caffeine intake with a healthy diet and regular exercise is key to maximizing its benefits. In conclusion, caffeine's role in thermogenesis and fat oxidation offers promising insights into its potential health benefits. By understanding these processes, we can make informed choices about our caffeine consumption and overall wellness. Caffeine as a health tool, promise and caution. While these findings are encouraging, it's crucial to approach them with a balanced perspective. This study, while groundbreaking, provides observational evidence, not definitive proof. More research is needed to confirm these findings and determine the long-term effects of caffeine consumption. It's also important to remember that caffeine affects individuals differently. The last sip. A Balanced Perspective on Caffeine's Potential This study provides compelling insights into the potential health benefits of caffeine. While we can't yet recommend specific caffeine doses for weight loss or diabetes prevention, these findings open up exciting new avenues for research. As with all things related to health, moderation and a balanced approach are key. Enjoy your coffee or tea, but always listen to your body and consult your doctor for personalized advice.